Okay, so Jed, your last game this weekend as a Lion, what has the journey been like for you? It's been it's been terrific, yeah. So um, 12 years coming up from a little country town in Victoria, and you come up when I got here. I, you know, I came up during a very successful era. So back on on the back of three premierships, um, came in first year, finished second to Port Adelaide. So I'm probably thinking this is pretty easy, and here we go, look out. Um, but you know, at the same time, I probably didn't think I was going to get a run um, with the players we had. And you know, look, 12 years down the track, unfortunately, we haven't had any success but you know I've still loved every minute of it I've loved um, everything the club's been able to do for me and my family um, the people the, you know, the big thing about footy clubs is the people you get to meet and the relationships you you have and you, and you make and the friends that you you know keep really so the people that I've met along the journey um, you know are, they're the people that you know will obviously stay with me for forever and I'll be able to um, have a close friendship with and um, enjoy their company in, in times to come but um, you know this club means a lot and did you know a lot for me um, especially as an 18 year old when you move in a state and you're sort of unsure what's really happening um, to really embrace me take me under their wing and um, you know set show me the standards of, of what it took to play AFL footy and um, I've loved every minute of it um, 200 games later and hopefully hopefully there's still a few more games in me unfortunately it won't be it it won't be here but um you know the, the opportunity that I'll, i've been given so far it's been um you know you couldn't uh, couldn't really ask for much more and you talked about some of those memories with your teammates what what past teammates are you still like really close with and and i guess those friendships that you formed with them who are you who are you yeah favorite favorite sort of memories of them favorites here we go i don't want to <laughs> pick out too many nah um the thing is it changes every year the thing about a footy club is that you know probably up to five to ten players come and go each year so you constantly you know your relationships are ever changing and you're having to embrace new people but as i said the, the thing is that i've been able to take probably from every every year i've been able to you know take away a couple of fantastic friends um and they will stick with me for my first couple of years when I lived with Timmy Nodding, um, Shane Johnson, who was our welfare manager back there, Craig Lambert, uh, even Johnny Blakey was my defensive coach. And now to go through the years and to be still, you know, really close to those guys and, and you know, Murray Davis, who was defensive coach now, and Jade Rawlings, who was my defensive coach um, a few years ago. But And players I've had, you know, a couple of them were groomsmen at my wedding, um, Paddy Garner and, and Chaney Stiller, who, um, played 100 games for the club, but Paddy, not many people would remember. Um, you know, and to go then, the more obvious names, Brownie, and I still talk to Vossi, and um, names like that. So the good thing is, is that the people you meet are, um, are what make you, really. They're, they're the reasons that you continue to come back and, um, and stay with a footy club, especially over 12 years. That you know, The people that you've, I've been able to meet um, and the friendships I've been able to make over, over the 12 years is something that, you know, you wake up every morning, come to the footy club and you're really coming. It's like you're coming home again. So you're leaving home to come home. Um, so it's fantastic to be able to hang out, you know, with 50 of your best mates every day. Is there a particular game that stands out for you, a particular win that was that was really good and, yeah, something that's stayed in your memory? Oh, I think a game that obviously is always... I, I mean, I suppose I've been a part of a few. Collingwood 2007, when we won by about 90-something points, personally, that was probably my best game. So it's probably easier to always think back to that. But then these got, like, Geelong a couple of years ago when Bungie's... 200th game when we kicked the goal after the siren. Um, the games like that, winning a final against Carlton, I actually didn't play and I was sitting in the stands injured, but you know, they're the the memories and you know the thing that you in terms of games that you take away, even though I wasn't part of the game, um, I was still part of the club and you know you come in after the game and you, everyone was on such a high and um, you know to play finals footy, we're here to you know play finals footy, win premierships. Um, so they're the memories, winning, you know, we finished second in my first year and I sort of didn't really know what it probably meant back then and probably took a lot for granted. Um, thinking that it was this is just what happened. Um, since that day, we've only played two finals games since. So um, it's important that, especially with this club and how many young kids we've got, is that we cherish our wins and we start learning how to win and um, the feeling that you get when you do win. Because it's important that these kids learn that and um, that we can't 
you know, we can't accept losing. It's important that we go out there um, and win games of footy because we're where this club's meant to be and it's where fans and members expect this club. We expect this club to be winning and it's important that we get back this back there soon. And what's next for yourself and your family? I know you still feel like you've got some of your best football left. Um, what are you planning on doing next? Planning on having a couple of weeks off, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we don't know yet. Yeah, sort of. We've probably tried to just get to the end of the year now. We probably learnt, learnt of my fate, I guess if you want to say it that way, but learnt that, you know, my time at, at this club had probably come to an end about a month ago, so we'd sort of plan. We'd been planning a little bit. Um, we knew we were always going to move, probably to come a couple of years earlier than we thought. But um, I, as I, as you said, I, I feel like I've still got some really good footy. I feel like I'm 29. Um, I've been able to play some good footy and good consistent footy over the 12 years, and um, my body's been really reliable for the past you know six, seven years. Played good consistent consistent footy, and I don't see why that. Well, that should change now. I feel like I've still got some really good years left, and that's not only um, as a player on the field, it's also just through experience and leadership that I can bring to a footy club. Um, but it's also through I've got a real passion for coaching, so it might be a transition where I can play for one or two years and then transition into coaching at the, at the club um, wherever I go. So that's all that's the option as well. Um, but yeah. I'm, hopefully I still get another chance to play footy at the top level. Um, I feel like I can, I feel like my body's up to it, I feel like I've still got the passion to play, I feel like I still love coming in and training every day. Um, Pre-seasons are gruelling but um, you know I've done you know six, seven in a row now so it's important, They're, it's always important that you're able to do pre-season and your body's in good shape and um, hopefully I can bring that, that to whatever club I go to next. And I know you're a fan favourite. Did you have a message that you wanted to give to to Lion supporters? Oh yeah, just to to thank you know thank the supporters, the members, the fans, um, Queensland, you know Melbourne with our Fitzroy connections um, that have supported me over the time. Um, it obviously means you know a hell of a lot to me that the support I've been given um, and my family as well. But also is it to, you, the, it's important to keep faith in the club. The club is going in the right direction. I, I know wins and losses is always very important, and it is. It's important, as I said earlier, it's important that we win games of footy, but um, the club is going in the right direction. They're going down a youth policy, yes, but you can see that the core group of players, and they're all, you know, you've got your 24-year-olds. If you look in 20, in, sorry, you look in four years' time, they're 28. Your 19-year-olds, your Harris Andrews, your Liam Dawson's, um, John O'Freeman's, those players are going to be, you know, 22, 23. They're all going to be in the prime of their careers. So the core group of players they've got here now is right. Um, you know, it's just important that the club and the, sorry, it's important that the fans and the members realise that, and they stay with us because the club, the club will have success not too far away. Um, not too, you know, it's won't be next year I don't think but it's it's not too far away and it's important that there's no better feeling than than winning six and having success when you've come from the bottom so it's it's hard to, it's hard to start at the tops and so you've got to you've got to come from down sometimes and you know this club's gonna have to come from the bottom up but it will make success ever so sweet if you come from the bottom and you do the hard work to get to the top well your passion has been wonderful here at the Lions all the best for the future Jed thank you cheers guys